I don't want to be over dramatic here, but photography is never going to be the same ever, ever again. Now, Sony has a lot to do with this because the new A9 III has a new feature that has never been seen in a mirrorless camera before. Now, that new feature is the ability to reverse the rotation of Earth to go back in time, kind of just like what Superman did. <laughs> okay. I'm kidding, of course. Instead, it'll cook dinner for you. The shutter speed doubles as the cooking temperature. No, seriously, the A9 III has a global shutter that gives the camera a very impressive set of features. Now, I'm gonna go over some of those features in just a little bit, but first, let's have a look at a couple other intriguing stories for this week. Regardless of whether you think AI is the best thing since sliced bread or a dangerous precursor to the Terminator-like existence for humans, it is becoming more and more integrated into our lives. Now, a good example of this is Samsung's next smartphone, which is very likely going to include onboard generative AI called Samsung DAWs. Now, Samsung's AI has a number of different features, including coding assistant, a generative language tool, and a image generator. Now, all these operations will occur natively on the next Samsung phone, which is rumored to be the S24. Now, the coding assistant does just what it says it does. It's designed to help you code faster and more easily by offering features like test case generation and the interactive coding interface as well. Now, the language model is a kind of look at it as a kind of a lot like chat GPT. Samson intends for it to be used to enhance the work efficiency, like kind of helping you translate text, compose emails, and summarize documents for you. Actually, I could use some help with it. Now, the image generation model is perhaps, you know, let's be real, probably one of the more interesting components of this, at least from a photography standpoint. Now, according to Samson, this feature allows you to easily edit creative images, so you can also use it to generate completely new images all from your phone. Yeah, pretty cool. Now, all of you guys know I'm a, I'm an iPhone guy, so when this new Samsung thing comes out, I'm gonna have to rely on you for details about how well or not well the new suite of AI tools work. So, you know, I guess I would normally say stay tuned, but I'm gonna have to stay tuned for you or from you. Now, while having native generative image AI tools on our phones might be a new thing, using AI for image editing is not a new thing. No, no, it's not. Skyloom has been at the forefront of this movement for years. And since Skyloom has led the charge in terms of AI photo editing, its Luminar Neo is packed full of goodies that make image editing processing so much easier. Now, I was in uh, Luminar Neo the other day playing around with a sky replacement tool and Man, I was, you know, I'm blown away by the ease of use of this tool and its accuracy. I mean, it literally took me just a few seconds to swap out the sky and the results are pretty darn fantastic if you ask me. And the fun part about this is not to get sidetracked here, man, I've been playing around and watching this company for a number of years and it is seeing the transition of where they came from and to where they're charging right now is pretty cool stuff. It sure is. Well, I digress and getting back on topic here, the, the sky replacement tool, which I just mentioned there is just one of dozens of AI powered tools in Luminar Neo. For example, if you shoot landscapes, you can use features like the soon to be released AI water enhancer to bring out the colors and vibrancy of water, as you can see in the sample image from Luminar. Likewise, you can use the new Gen Erase tool to remove unwanted elements from a shot in a matter of seconds. Now, the unwanted elements, like those in the sample image, are then filled in using information from the image to fill in the gaps. Now, of course, that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the AI tools Skylum has stuffed in Luminar Neo. For example, you can use interesting light effects with the Neo and Glow tool or add eye-catching light effects to liven up the portraits with a studio light tool. And as you can see, there are many other AI tools at your disposal that have been already released to Luminar Neo users and the more are on the way. Now, all of these AI tools are in addition to the traditional editing tools like uh, layering, cropping, and so forth that you would really expect in an editor, image editor like this. So in other words, Luminar Neo really is the complete package. It's also worth noting that all of these goodies are really wrapped in a very intuitive and easy to use interface that allows you to streamline your editing process. 
And that's what I was talking about earlier. One of the things I really admire about this software is it is really kind of plug and play. It's very user friendly. Now I found that I get better results in less time when using Luminar Neil. And hey, let's be real here. We all have busy lifestyles. So what is not the like about that? camera, the A9 III, and what's the big deal? Well, that simple. It's the world's first full-frame camera with a global shutter image sensor. Now, the benefit of a sensor like this is that you can shoot up to 120 frames per second blackout free. That's fast. Now, if you hear a you know, party nearby, it's probably all the action photographers in your neighborhood getting together and really celebrating about this. This is really a big deal. Not only does the A9 III have blazing fast speed, but it also has real-time autofocus recognition thanks to the dedicated AI processing unit. And what's more, the camera offers a maximum shutter speed of 1 80th of the 80th thousands, 80 thousands of a second. Man, that's even tough to say right there. Whoa. Yes, you heard me correct, which is, and I don't need to say, that's extremely fast to say the least. Even when shooting continuous, this camera is capable of achieving one over 16,000 seconds shutter speed, which is, again, very, very, very impressive. Yet another benefit of the global shutter is that you can use FlexSync at any shutter speed and add in flicker-free shooting and the ability to shoot 120 frames per second with full autofocus automatic exposure tracking and metering, and you have one hell of an action camera on your hands. In your hands, rather. Anyways, the A9 III has plenty of other features underneath the hood as well. So for example, it's got a stacked 24.6 megapixel CMOS sensor and a Bion's XR processing engine, which is eight times more powerful than the A9 II's processor. Yeah. You can see where I'm leaning with this. This thing is really, really well stacked or well loaded rather. Now the A93 also has the ability to shoot 14-bit raw photos and has a feature called pre-capture, which enables the camera to record the moment immediately before the shutter button is fully pressed. What sorcery is this? You see what I'm saying? The, the further you go down through the specs of this camera, you can really appreciate why this camera is really kicking up a lot of dirt right now. A lot of people are very excited about this camera. Now the A9 III has impressive video specs as well. You get 6K oversampling, 4K 60p footage, and 4K 120, both without a crop. Now this is the first alpha camera to offer 4K 120 video without a crop. Now in other words, Sony really seems to have really outdone itself with this camera, especially with the incredible global shutter. Not only is this a exciting camera for Sony enthusiasts, but it could also mark the beginning of a shift to global shutters for high-end cameras from Canon, Nikon, and all the other manufacturers out there as well. Now, it's certainly gonna be exciting to see what shift occurs in the oncoming months and years. That sure will. Now, the A9 III is set to arrive in spring with a price tag of $6,000, or just under $6,000. So st definitely stay tuned for more details as we get closer to that launch date. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of another Photography Talk episode. And I don't know about you, but I am ready to take the rest of the day off, eat some ice cream on the couch, and catch up on the Hallmark Channel Christmas movies that I have missed. <laughs> I was gonna say I wish, but no, I, I really don't desire that. But it is time for me to get back to the grind. But anyways, thanks for tuning in. Have a fantastic day, friends, and I will see you during the next video. Thank <laughs> you.